the heart of the matter. Hello, everyone. Thank you for staying with us or just for joining us now. I am Lana Zak in New York. It is just about 2 p.m. here on the East Coast. We're going to give you a live look at the White House. We are waiting to hear from President Biden. He's scheduled to give an address on the assassination attempt of former President Trump. Once that begins, we will take you there live. But we want to give you an update on that shooter as 20-year-old Pennsylvania man Thomas Matthew Crooks. Law enforcement officials are working to determine a motive. This morning, his home was searched and investigators found explosive materials in his car. What you're seeing here is the bomb squad on site. Authorities say the gun used was a semi-automatic AR-15. It was purchased legally and it was registered to the shooter's father. The White House has been receiving regular updates on the investigation. This photo was taken this morning inside of the Situation Room. Like we said, we are expecting to hear from the president soon. We did hear from him last night. He described the situation as sick, repeated that, and said that we are better than that. When Biden speaks now, we will take you live to the White House as soon as that happens. I want to bring in now senior White House correspondent Weijia Jiang. You're there at the White House. Weijia, I know you've been talking to administration officials. We understand that the president is going to be briefed again on the incident today and is expected to address the nation. What more can you tell us?